wow, what what a, what a pretty bride, what a beautiful bride and handsome groom. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, hey, that's a great impression, bro. The whole world going mad, bro. Two plus two we will five. You a racist if you don't think that adds up. Black or white or Asian or Jew, nothing. We're catering to a small group of people to, and it's not even the problem. I said this today on social media. It's not even a problem with the people itself, whether it be trans or whatever people have a problem with or liberals or leftists or progressives. It's more the fact that corporations and media are are honing in and really hyper focusing on something that, in my opinion, you, you ever seen the thing where I, I make jokes about this all the time. It, it goes from like, you know, it started with Black Lives Matter. I say, OK, cool. You know, like I, I won't kick puppies. Like if they put out a thing that says don't kick puppies, I'm rocking with that, too. OK, I get it. You, <laughs> you're like, Black, you know, Black Lives Matter. Cool. OK, like imagine I put out a sign that said don't kick puppies and it's like. We secretly kick puppies, guys. Yeah, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm really, I'm really the new liberal or the old liberal or the new conservative, but definitely I don't know what it is, man. I don't I don't know what box it is. Like I don't really know where I fit because it's like a lot of conservatives say, yo, you're too liberal. You accept gay people. Like I'm like, what you mean accept them? Like they're humans. They can do what they want. I don't know. What Absolutely. you want me to what you want me to do? <laughs> and, and then you got people like, what you want me to go lynch them and shit? What you want me to go fight it? Let's let's go lynch them. What you want me to do? That makes no sense. And then you got people on the left that are like, yo, you too conservative because because you like Trump. I'm like, yo, he's a billionaire. He's cool as I met, you know, or whatever it yeah. is. You know, so it's all these things. It's like I'm too conser I'm too conservative for the left. And I'm too liberal for some of the right. So, so people are like, yo, you're just a libertarian. Yo, you're just a moderate. I, I don't so know the what, name. What, would you say you're politically homeless right now? I, I, <laughs> I, I find right now, now that, now that Trump, um, I, I like the Trump. I know people say, oh, that's, that's the worst part of the, of the conservative movement. That's what they say. Oh, but I, I, I really like the idea of, of being a conservative right now in the, in, you know, I don't know if y'all know Bill Maher. Yes, and, um, absolutely. So, so I like the Bill Maher now that he kind of is questioning the left in a degree. I like a Rus the Russell Brands of the world. School. Yes, Russell Brand, he's fair. The old so school I'm, lefty vibe. The, so I'm kind of that, man. I'm kind of like, that's how I am. I'm like, I'm like a hippie, bro. People say, yo, why are you walking around barefoot type shit? Like, that's really what I'm on, bro. Like, like I'm not gonna like run around hugging trees saying, let's save the world. And I'll tell you why, because I don't trust where that money's going. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> just like, just like anything else, bro. Like I love to save the world. I would love to not have war. I would love to do all the things that, you know, progressives and leftists in their, in their, in their brain, they want to happen. I would love for all those things to happen. I'd love for no guns to be around and no one wants to kill each other. That would be incredible. But guess what? I got to have a gun because I have people who, who, who want me, don't like me. They want to see me dead. So it's like, these are all the things that run through my mind all day. It's like, I'm a dreamer, but I'm also a realist. <laughs> is, there, is there any way, cause I wow. know you brought up Trump. I, I want to, I want to bring, uh, you know, obviously the picture you gotta the video, yeah, you gotta bring that video that went super viral of you and trump coming to your wedding how, how is that bro that's insane bro like that's Dude. some wild, wild stuff bro so, like, so this so this so, so perfect example so my my i don't want to say because once again bro we're not in a world where things are as black and white as oh my more conservative fans because exactly. my because my conservative fans i'm talking about just god fearing conservative fans they love what i do at all almost at all times and they rock with me but then you got the the far right that's like jews run the world you know, Kanye was right. Nazis are incredible. <laughs> like all this wild stuff where, so like when I'm with Trump, they're like, he's controlled opposition. He's a part of the Illuminati now. Did you see all three fingers he threw up in the picture? Whatever. So they're trying to overanalyze and calculate everything. So these are the, these, you know what I call them? I call them doomers, not boomers. They're doomers. Go ahead, bro. Because to, to everything to them, it's doom and gloom. You know, they don't trust themselves. They don't trust God. They don't trust anything. A lot of the times it's like these kind of a lot of them are atheists, to be honest. It's not even like they're far right Christians or anything like that. Yeah, they're, they're just a lot of them. They're like they they don't. And if they do, if they are Christian or whatever you want to call it, like they they don't really believe enough. Because if you believed enough in God, you wouldn't be looking for all this symbolism and and pointing blame and being like he's terrible, he's terrible, he's terrible. Just be like, yo, I'm good. God's good. My family's good. Yes. I don't care who's evil out there yes. because you know you know I'm I'm good to go. You feel what I'm saying? But um, yes. As far as the wedding goes, dude, that was crazy. Honestly, I want to say I want to say greatest night of my life until God willing, you know, the birth of my first child, hopefully sooner than later. That would be incredible. But um I would say greatest night of my life because I got married to the love of my life. I literally met once again, whether you love him or hate him, bro, I met a president. Like I keep forgetting. You feel what I'm saying? Like I keep thinking like I met an actor or like the guy like I joked around in the caption 
like I, I have to almost, I don't want to say humble myself. I have to bring myself back, back down to like where other people look at things. Cause I'm so locked in and focused all the time that I don't even take a step back and be like, yo, you did this, you did that. You accomplished this, you accomplished that. I don't really get to bask in my success ever. I never really do. I would say once or twice a year, I'll take a step back and I'll, I'll almost cry, bro. When I'm around certain, like certain people that really know me for 10, 15 years. And I'll be like, I'll really recap on what happened in my life for that year, because I really hold it all in for two, three, 400 days straight. And then I'll be like, whoa, look what I just did. Like, I really, I really, if you check my refrigerator or my boards that I have, whiteboards and papers everywhere, I got like six, seven, eight, nine month plans with a video, a song, a video, a post, a video, whatever, whatever. I have all these things. And then by the time it's done, like right now, I'm just chilling with my girl playing Harry Potter Legacy right now. Like I'm not, I'm not really working right now because I did it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yes, like, you, like you said, I got married. And I met a president, and I just put out, you know, one of the biggest records of my career. Like, you know, at, le at least like in in a new kind of rebuilding fa uh, phase. Two plus two equals five. It, it's not the biggest, like the numbers wise. Wait, 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 wait. See, goddamn it, this is what you're not going to do. Okay. <laughs> First of all, you did say you're running your mouth really fast. You yeah. are. Please yeah. slow down. I'm 44 years old. I'm old as hell. It's hard for me to catch up. <laughs> no, but hold on. We're going to come there because I, I was talking to Lou earlier, and Lou threw some things at me, and I don't want you to go over there, but for now. Yeah. Um, pause we, we me definitely got to go to that. To pause, me, pause, pause me whenever you want. <laughs> all right, cool. Thank you, brother. Uh, so, so Trump being at your wedding, how did that happen? Did you call him up? Be like, hey, Trump, I'm trying. <laughs> how did that happen? So, so um, you know, we had we had the wedding at Marla. It's funny. So every, everyone's always like, uh, yo, why wasn't I invited? Why wasn't this? Yo, what gift did he get? They say all these funny things, like these questions everybody wants to know. And first off, I don't know if y'all know about a wedding. It's always, usually, it's the wife's dad. That's usually who handles these things. And um, this was this was the case for I'm not going to get into details and money and start pulling up receipts right, for right, y'all. Right. But, um, you know, this was the wedding that, that my wife wanted. And, um, you know, you know, her dad and, and myself and her, we all kind of went in and we obliged and we made it happen. And, um, you know, we were at Mar-a-Lago and this is like it's almost like. I don't know if y'all have ever seen it. Obviously, you saw the FBI raids and stuff, but like I've been there a few times and it's almost like something out of Narcos, bro. It's almost like some real Pablo Escobar type thing. Like you're on a compound, bro, and there's like Secret Service everywhere. And you realize, you only realize that because to you, to anyone on here, anyone listening, it looks like a resort or, or, a, or a, a hotel. And as soon as you step back and you're like, yo, this is his house. That's his living room. That's Because I'm like, yo, he has to walk to go eat over there. That's his golf course. And I'm like, yo, he's just, it's like you and me walking to the living room 10 feet away. He's got to get in a golf cart to go to his kitchen. So that's oh like, my. so that's the scenario that I'm talking about. And, and, and as soon as you realize that you're like, yo, I'm in, I'm in Narcos right now. I'm in, I'm in a move. I'm in a real HBO series of something that's going wild. You know what I mean? And, um, so, that's so nuts. yeah, so that, that was crazy. I, I stayed in this penthouse, which was insane. Cause like I said, a guy coming from where I come from, um, you know, I'm come from humble beginnings, didn't have a lot of money. We could talk about that too, as far as my upbringing to be able to be married, to love my life, have an incredible wedding, meet one of the 46 presidents. You know what I mean? Right. It was just, it was such a historic moment, bro. As you far are as winning Rez, you that's are how I winning, felt, man. Bro. That's how I felt. And people were trying to, Hey, yo, look at him. He did this. He did that. He flat. I said, wait, I said, yo, there was, I feel like there was almost, there was, and this is all God's doing. Like I said, when I say this, like, I feel like there wasn't a hundred people on earth that just had a better day than me. Like that was an incredible day, bro. <laughs> like that. And anyone who's trying to hate me is like, like th there's a little bit of jealousy. Like, how did he do that? You know what I mean? How did he pull, how did he make that happen? And, but to answer your question, I mean, this man literally lives there and um, just by the grace of God, like he wasn't out doing something. And, and I actually saw him like, it's, it's sort of getting weird because you would just see him like walking by and shit. <laughs> so it was like, you know what I mean? And it was just, it was just hella weird, bro. And he's like, and, 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 and he said all the things you would expect. He'd be like, such a handsome groom, such a handsome groom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow. What, what, a, what a pretty bride, what a beautiful bride and handsome Room, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, that's a great impression, bro. It like, was great. Is he though? Is he like? Is bro, he like he's really, like six really two. Big? He's like six two. He's and six two. He's over six foot. I mean, I'm short, dude. I'm like five seven. So everyone to me six two. But uh, <laughs> no, nah, but he's everyone. like six. He's like six one, six two. And even my mom, who who I had to say, mom, sh you gonna you gonna ruin? You gonna get me kicked out of here if you don't? You know, she was she was trying to. You know, these people they love to talk online. They don't really say nothing in person. And the ones that do, they're extra crazy. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> So my mom, she still kept it together and she's standing there and he actually comes over. And my mom, like I said, everything's the Republicans fault. Trump derangement. Yeah, I was going to ask about what your mom think. Cause you know, you grew up in a liberal household. She's seeing Trump, Trump 
comp up. derangement to the max, <laughs> oh bro. Yeah, God. so check this out. So prior to this, my life was everything. Like, I'm the only one in my family who's really a black sheep when it comes to like, I'm a contrarian, bro. Like if I, I don't know, I, if I grew up in a very conservative household, I might be running around, you know, BLM, wait, wait, yeah. train, all the wild things you could think of for the left. I might be doing that. I really don't know. I don't know where God, you know, wants me or, or would have put me, but this is where I'm at. And, um, yeah, so it's funny because he even, he even came out to my mom and I'm basically saying, look, mom, like this is a very exclusive location. Like you're going to ruin my wedding. You're going to get me kicked out. You're going to ruin the sponsor. <laughs> All the things that are going into this. I'm like, you better chill. And um, she obviously, you know, chilled out. She kept, she didn't say nothing crazy. And um, he actually came mom. up. He, my, shout out mom. He actually came up to her and said something like, wow, you're so beautiful. Everyone here. You know, he started saying, I don't know why I'm talking like Michael Jackson kind of now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Donald Trump turned into Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Say, wow, that, that's ignorant. That's ignorant. <laughs> No, but he's, yeah, but I don't know, man. It was uh, such an incredible, beautiful day. And uh, hopefully, hopefully many more beautiful days to come with my family and my life and my wife and my kids and all that. So congratulations, big dog. Let me tell you something, man. And whenever, whenever God's children are shining, you're going to always have demons trying mm. to throw smut at it, man. Mm. Relax. Guess what? You're not even bothering me. I'm smiling regardless. <laughs> are you done? Are you not happy? That's right. your issue. That's not my right. business. Right. You're not going to put that on me. Yeah, congratulations, brother. That's thank you. Wow, man, that's amazing. That thank is, you, man. That definitely is, man. That picture went. I know. I remember when I saw it the first. As soon as I opened up, like it was like everywhere. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Look at Trump, man. He looking young. He looking this, looking that. I'm like, yo, is that Raz? <laughs> no, and, and, and there was a little video. You saw the little video going viral. Yeah, the video. Yeah, the video. I saw. Yeah, that joint was that joint. It was super viral. Everybody was talking about that. Yeah, because so. it's so weird. You know, like the left trying to make something like at it. First of all, you can't hear nothing. You can't say nothing, and like people were trying to say like. You know, like I'm tr I'm selling off my wife to Trump. They were saying the grossest things. They're saying, and I'm saying, yo, aren't y'all liberal? Aren't y'all liberal? Yeah. So if you watch the video, it's just me and Trump talking, and I'm a little drunk, so I'm just throwing my hands around. You know, I'm like, I'm doing wild stuff to him talking, and, and my girl's like, you know, her heels are hurting, and she's trying to like, you know, hold herself up type scenario, and um, yeah, people are just, you know, everyone's just trying to make like all my homies and and conservatives and all my fans and people that are just kind of apolitical they were all like yo that's cool you met a president incredible you know live it up blah 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 whatever whatever and then like i said these these people are just look they're 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 fishing for something so they were like all these gross people they were like yo look he's trying to negotiate for his wife to try i'm like yo like aren't don't you don't y'all live and this has always been my problem don't y'all live under the guise of liberalism loving acceptance tolerance so is allegedly. that all, allegedly so is and that's always been my issue is hypocrisies bro is is, is being being a hypocrite it's like i don't care if we disagree I care that you can't see your blind spots that you're called you're living under the guise of I accept black people and I accept Asians and gays and trans yep. and white I just don't accept anyone who disagrees with me today exactly even if they are black or gay or trans or white or you know what I mean it's listen man my experience it's been kind of like that I, I can't speak for Van but being on YouTube I've noticed that liberals are usually and I've seen it in person as well they're usually the ones filled with the hate that I thought conservatives were filled with and it's so crazy because they will tell you, like, the moment you are not with what the agenda is, yeah, like, yeah. which is BLM, um, LGBTQ, all this stuff. And if you're a person like, you know, that's black or Hispanic, right. uh, if, you know, they'll make sure that, you know, they're, they stand for every Hispanic. They stand right. for, for every black person but until they don't agree with them. Absolutely. And they're a sellout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's so crazy that you, you're saying that that was the response because I'm not surprised, dude. Because usually, you know, <laughs> I, I, so far from what I've been seeing from liberals, it just hasn't been love, bro. It's just yeah. been a lot of hate. I